tonight. A woman found dead in her Parkville home and police now think it was a murder suicide. It's a story that we first told you about last night on ABC 2 News at 11 o'clock. The woman's grandson was found dead a short time later. Roosevelt Leftwich joins us now live from County Police Headquarters with more information. Rosie? Well, Kelly, County Police are calling this a family tragedy. It's a search for a motive that they may never find. It's the kind of neighborhood where people live here for all of their lives. Everyone around remembers Evelyn Hoffer Berth as a wonderful woman and a neighbor who has been a part of Sarah Lane for what seems like forever. Very nice lady. Um, she'd do anything for you in a heartbeat. I mean, my son needed to do water physical therapy, and she said, come use my pool, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. She's just very nice lady. Gottlieb and other neighbors were just shocked when the police showed up at Hoffer Burst's house yesterday. County police say the 66-year-old was found dead in the basement of her home and her car was missing. The car was found a few miles away. Police later found the grandson also deceased in his grandmother's car on Lock Raven Drive. He apparently died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And the homicide investigation is not yet concluded. They're looking at what the reasons were behind this tragedy. It's a tragedy that leaves everyone wondering why. Neighbors say her grandson, Brett Michael Hofferberth, was a decent kid and his grandmother was a staple in this neighborhood. They just simply feel for the family. Absolutely in shock. We, um, we were coming home from the hospital last night. My son was in there and we heard while all this was happening. I called a neighbor and found out, and I didn't know what to say. Mm -hmm. Couldn't believe it. Now, county police are still investigating. An autopsy is scheduled to be formed to determine the exact cause of death here. Roosevelt Leftwich, ABC 2 News.